Hello everyone, welcome to the House of Horrors. Now, I got a little story to tell you. Uh, I'm going to show you my phone along with a three, uh, 3D case. It's a phone case, it's based on Halloween. And I want to put this on this uh, particular channel because the story in itself is quite interesting to say the least. But I want to show you my phone. Okay, it is a Samsung S22 Ultra. Okay. All right, just so you get an idea what it looks like here. It's a burgundy style background. It's got five cameras on it, and it does take good pictures. I kid you not on that. Okay, now the actual phone case that was on here originally was also burgundy or a rose color, so it matched well. But I do like the color of this, so keep that in mind. But let me tell you about my story when it comes to this um, phone case. Okay, I am going to show you the phone case, but I'm going to get into the story first. Um, there is, according to Facebook, you know, you get certain advertisement where they sell certain things. So, it was called Forever Gifts, okay? Now, the company in itself, it's not my intention to criticize it, but the way it was handled, I have to mention it. So, if you ever do decide you want to order something from Forever Gifts, there is that possibility of a lack of communication between China and the company itself because that's what I ran into with this thing so I purchased it because there are different um, 3d phone cases that you can get d different styles now what I mean by three-dimensional is uh, it's not just like uh, picture imprinted on the actual case it's actually risen so it's got some texture to it on the back and everything and it looks absolutely spectacular the one that I actually got and I'm going to show you that, and I'm going to try to see if you can actually see the actual um, 3D uh, three-dimensional uh, design to it. But anyway, I ordered it, so I, you know, I figured I had to wait a little bit. Um, I, there's a tracking system on there. I would throw my uh, tracking number up in there, and it would come. It would be stuck on the third marker as it wouldn't be sent out. So I actually had to uh, contact them through email wondering where the phone uh, phone case was at and I get this brief message it seemed a little unprofessional but that's just me maybe they were just in a rush uh, it pretty much says uh, having a hard time communicating with the company uh, it'll, it'll be out there real soon I'm like okay so that's kind of vague in my opinion so it got to the point all right, I'll, I'll wait another week all right and if I don't hear no results I'm going to go on the Facebook page and contact them through messenger and that's what I had to do. It literally had to uh, take three weeks. And the actual marker through um, uh, the tracking was still stuck on the third notch. Uh, so I don't know what was going on. Um, they didn't contact me because I, I actually emailed them a second time. And I never got a response back. So that's when I went on to Facebook. Went on to their uh, messenger. And I got an immediate response from them guys. And they pretty much say we're having, you know, uh, problems communicating with the company over there in China, which at the time I didn't know was China. All right, that's why it took so long to get here. But um, they said uh, it will be out. I'll get, we'll send you a tracking number, the usual stuff. So I'm like, okay, all right. I appreciate you guys doing that and stuff like that because I told myself I really don't know what else I can do about this. I was going to give up on it. It was twenty dollars lost, but like I said, they took care of it and. The tracking number came out, and I still had to wait another week because it's coming from China. It's got to go through um, customs and everything, and I finally got it today. So well, that's the story. So keep this in mind when you do order through this company. There is that distinct possibility that it could happen to you, but it might not. But for me, it was just one of those experiences. But let me show you what it looks like. Okay, now you can see it's got like a three-dimensional design to it. I'm going to pull it in closer. It's a very cool looking design. If you're into Halloween, you're into pumpkins, this is absolutely gorgeous. See that? That's, that's sweet looking. Now when you turn it like this, you can see it's kind of risen a little bit. All right, but it does look cool on the phone. I'm going to put it on the phone case and show you what it looks like. But like I said, it's, uh, it's an S22 Ultra, okay? It's got the five lenses, five uh, cameras, all right? That one there looks like it's really sticking out. So I'm going to pull it in a little closer so you can see it. 
Alright, you see how it's um, risen a little bit? That's just the way they made it. Pretty cool, huh? Beautiful looking design on this thing. See, that's pretty cool. And that's what that looks like. Now on the sides here, they're pretty smooth. Okay, so keep that in mind. They uh, All these sides are smooth. Just the backing, okay? It's even got the switches already embedded inside the case. Okay, so you don't have to worry about that part. It covers up your buttons. Right, but it does look good. Really, really good. Yeah, You'd have to see it with your own eyes. It's re it really does stand out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this back, the phone back, into its case. The one thing I noticed about uh, Samsung, the actual case in itself is made of metal, so it's kind of hard to grip. It can be a little slippery. So you might want to be careful if you got a phone like that. All right. But that is what she looks like with the uh, phone intact. I just thought I'd show you guys this and give you my experience. Okay, now don't get me wrong, I might order through them again. Uh, but there's other companies that will sell 3D phone cases if you're interested in these things. So keep that in mind. See that? That really does stand out. It's beautiful. I've always wanted one of these. And like I said, it took almost a month to get the dang thing. But it was worth it for me. So Anyway, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Okay. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. As I will be pushing out some new videos, I should be getting my uh, Living Dead doll, uh, the Crow. That should be coming in pretty soon. Once they, uh, They're already processing it. So once it gets shipped out, I'm figuring maybe about a week. And then we'll just jump right into that uh, video too. In the meantime, you guys have yourselves a good day, guys and gals. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to discriminate. Uh, and I'll see you guys at the next video.